Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film my 10 favourite classic girl names and I am not pregnant and I probably will not be pregnant for a very long time. Dan is very, very no about having another baby. So baby names are something that I've been looking at and absolutely loving for as long as I can remember. Probably since I, start, since I started playing The Sims, I was one of them really weird people um, that always had like a single mum and adopted like seven trillion kids on The Sims. And I used to love just coming up with the names for them. But I have accumulated, and this list has been on my phone for a little while now, some really classic, old, vintage style girl names that I do absolutely love. And if I was to like pop out a girl tomorrow, I would more than likely name a girl one of these names because they're just my absolute favorite. Um, so I'm just gonna get into it without really rambling. I've tried to um, also write down some reasons as to why these are my favorite names. And the first one is Alice. I love this name. When I think of Alice, I've got it written down, I think of just like a really sweet, really happy, energetic, angelic little girl. I don't know why, probably because of Alice in Wonderland, but I do really love the name and I personally don't hear many Alices around at the moment, so I think it's not that common either. I'm going to just actually get my PC up and I will, um, I'm actually going to leave what these are ranking in popularity in the video in the corner um, in case you want to know how popular these names are um, but yeah I really love the name Alice and I just think it's a really sweet little girl's name. My second name is Beatrice. Dan hates this name so the chances are if I popped out a kid with Dan tomorrow my child would not be called Beatrice um, but I can, I can, I can hope I really love this name, I have no idea why. When I hear the name Beatrice, I think of a really loud, really kind of big personality girl, um, someone that's very sure of herself, and I think that's really cute. And as a young girl's little nickname, you could call her B, which again, is just so cute, and I think it's actually quite a nice name on its own, but I really love to have like longer names where you can put a nickname in. Um, but yeah, a Beatrice or a B, I think that's really cute. So my third one is Eleanor. And I think um, whenever I hear the name Eleanor, I basically think of Gossip Girl. But I really like this name and um, I don't see many of them. I think Eleanor to me is one of them really quiet people, but very, very strong. Um, she very much knows her stuff and will be very... She, she won't be afraid to tell you her opinion if like you're overstepping a mark. And I really love the nickname Elle or Ellie for Eleanor as well. So my fourth name is Evelyn and I think this has been on my list, on just my overall list for a very long time. I love this name, I first heard it on Home and Away absolutely years ago and I just love it. I love the nickname, I love either the nickname Eve or Evie. I don't really hear of many Evelyns, um, I hear of more Eves but I definitely don't hear many Evelyns. And I just like how it looks on paper as well. And I think that's also a big part when you're choosing a name. How it looks on paper, how you write it. Um, I know for me, spelling my daughter's name is just so flowy and I love doing it. I love writing her name and like birthday cards and stuff. So my fifth name is Ingrid. And um, yeah, I've, I've never come across an Ingrid before in my life. And I don't think you see many names spelt with an I either. Such a sweet name and I um, I love how it sounds. I love how it comes, like rolls off your tongue. I love it. My sixth name is Meredith. I love Meredith. And if I had to name all my children after the first letter in my name, doesn't make sense. Like, so all my kids had an M, like the Kardashians. Meredith would be on there. I love the name. Um, I think it just sounds so sweet as well. I feel like this is how I'm describing all the names. The seventh name I love and it's a very either you love it or hate it name. It is Minnie. You probably instantly think in Minnie Mouse. I know I do as well. Minnie to me is like a really dainty little country girl. Someone who's very much um just very much in her own village, very much likes to stay with her family, very close with her family. But yeah I really love the name. So my eighth name that I love is Opal. Um, I think it's a really cute name and I don't know why but it kind of reminds me of an apple. I don't know why. Maybe it is just Opal. <laughs> uh, but when I hear the name Opal I just think 
really bright, happy times. I think of the colour yellow. I don't think it's one of them names that Dan would allow me to name a little girl. Um, but I do love it. So my ninth name is probably my favourite name. And, um, yeah, I love it. And the name is Ottilie. I have never cr come across an Ottilie. I read it, I can't remember where I've seen this name, but I'm in love. I love the name Otti, Otto, um, Tilly for a little girl. Oh, it's just so sweet. And when I think of the name Ottilie, I think of a really bubbly um, little beach girl, someone that I could just see running around the beach, a little Otti running around the beach in a little yellow dress and a sun hat. And I really like how it looks on paper as well. Is that a bad thing? Like you, surely you have to really like how a name looks on paper to like and want to name your kid that. Or is that just me? I think that's probably just me. Oops. So my last name in this list, um, but it's definitely not my least favourite. As I was growing up, it's never really a name that I thought I would want to name my child because it's a colour. I don't know why. But to me, it was just like naming my kid blue. I'd never do it. But Violet has really grown on me and I just think it's a gorgeous name and I definitely think it's in the more classic vintage names list as well. When I see or hear the name, I just think of a really fun, soft, spring kind of girl. One of them girls that really comes out of their shell after winter, really happy, really more energised when the sun starts to come out and all the flowers like to bloom. Oh, I just, yeah, I really do love these names. And um, let me know what your little girls are called and what kind of name category you think you much prefer. So that is everything for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe down below. I will see you all on Wednesday again with another video. Bye. Just because I do